The piston's gone. Oh, she is tore up. Oh, yeah. What's up guys, right now I'm over at the Team Olympus shop. If you guys remember, these guys have all the 4x4 toys. Got this monstrous thing over here. What is this thing right here? So, this is our, uh, we're gonna be honest, so we've, we've had a desire to get into drag racing. We were looking, and this thing popped on our radar. Um, the, I don't know, where, where do you even start with this thing, man? Um, so this is an Audi R8 body. Uh, this was used in the movie The Fast and the Furious 7. This, they made, what was it, six of them? Yeah. There were six, uh, six of these models that were made, and this is the only one that survived. And the only a, one didn't get used. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> through a course of actions, uh, Corey here, he's from California, um, he, him and a buddy found it, and we were kind of talking with the side with it. And after doing some research, we talked about, I mean, we could build a full structure underneath it, but the time and everything that needs to go into it, we just weren't 100% sure. And Corey found out that a 2000 C5 Corvette fits perfect. So, right. I mean. So you got yourself an LS R8. Yeah, right now it's an LS1. It's typical Corvette, but all that is changing. It's like a Leroy under there. Pretty in much. his beginning stages. Uh, exactly, and honestly, from the case perspective, it's gonna be identical to what Leroy has. Um, a little different, because we're not running the dash. Uh, it'll all just be custom up here, but all that will be on the Lexan, because we have to go custom, because the windshield's down to here. So we want to hide the fact that the engine's up here. Audi R8 on a Corvette. <laughs> that should be cool. I don't think we have air filter on it. You don't need that. It's just your style. Where the body sits on it now we got to lift it up probably about three inches though because literally it sits on my head oh yeah it's too a little low, low. couldn't get a helmet on I, know without a helmet. I think it would be pretty cool once it's all done and running so i came down here to pick up these seats from dan because he said these were just kind of sitting in the corner yeah we uh honestly for what we do we use a lot of fixed back seats now so suspension seats or um, they just move around too much for full racing, but they're great for a lot of stuff, especially like your uh, razzle dazzle. So that's why we thought, you know, these would be perfect. They're red. Yeah, they match. Comfy, and then they're like a lazy boy for you. And they're not <laughs> torn up and sun damaged. No, and they, falling they've got apart some like dust the other on ones. them, so they got to be cleaned off. But oh, they're in pretty good shape. Oh, they were brand new, and then we put them up there. We just the build that we had them for, I cut in half, and it never got put back together. <laughs> like I said, we got the matching red belts for you. Oh, nice. So you have a good full cam lock harness. A little white bar. Get you a light bar for the top. Uh, the seats, these are from, uh, I don't remember who makes these, but these will be good for your driver's side because uh, you can adjust them. Adjustable rails. Yep. So if you got you in there, then you got someone short or taller, you can adjust it. Cool. Again, sticking with the red, we got you a bunch of red lights there so you can put them all throughout there, flip a switch and light up the whole thing red. Oh, nice which will be good for, especially when you go out to the dunes. And then red's really good at night if you're working on it. Um, and here's some pod lights for you. You could probably put two on, since you got the light bar up front, you could put two of these in the front and two of these in the back, light up the engine bay. So when you're working on it, you've got a pod light, but these have the forward light and they light out the sides 180 degrees. So it's a lot of light for you. And then the belts, uh, these ones you can run over the top of the shoulders there. So they'll just come over like standard belts. And, should keep you nice and tight. And cool, cool. Said they'll look better and be more comfy. We'll be safe taking a couple jumps. Yeah. Let me uh, let me grab something else for you real quick. We had talked about them. Well, I'll go ahead and give you some now. These uh, are bump stops we make, and these will be perfect. You can weld to any of this can. This oh, one, you can this, just weld this anywhere. Yeah, this slides into that. So, and then it's held oh, okay. stop. By so you just stop. take it apart, weld to that. Yeah. And then you just weld the plate to the arm where that. Yeah, exactly. Something flat. Stop. And when you do it, 
make sure that when this is full compressed that the arm is 90 degrees to the bump so that's it so just make sure you're 90 degrees to the bump so when the arm comes up it smacks which should be pretty easy because you have a lot of travel though, so. well i am uh, getting out of here for now i wanted to come check out team olympus shop it's pretty sweet man be sure Thanks to go check by. yeah be sure to go check these guys out on yeah. the youtubes well, and everything we full build um we're gonna have probably starting next week we've already got a couple videos on the build uh but we're probably gonna have probably two if not three videos a week because this car has to be done for sema yeah we're getting a couple things the engine for this guy is gonna be here because this is the one that now. It broke on the dyno at it pfi blew. right unfortunately yes <laughs> that one with the hole we'll bring it back we'll bring it back <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these things are empty. sweet <laughs> and i i feel so bad man there were so many people commenting and they were like well it's brent's fault this this and that it's like it's not brent's fault i've said and that engine so many times it's like, dude that thing bah, 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 at sema on that <laughs> again so i mean oh yeah that, that had a year and a half of racing on it and thank you for the seats and everything absolutely buddy Doing best to get Enjoy those them. can't wait to see him in there so i just got back from dan's shop i got the new seats right over here he said these were brand new when he stored them and they just need cleaned up a little bit it did look like some little bugs or something might have munched out a couple little holes, but they are in really good shape. Other than that, we just need to get some like carpet cleaner on those and scrub those guys down. But those are in really good shape, especially compared to the old Razzle Dazzle seats. I just got those guys pulled out, got the Razzle Dazzle right here, and I'm just seeing what I need to do to get these new seats mounted up inside of there. So on the bottom of these seats, they have these little uh, posts that come off. So this thing right here is like welded inside that tab right there. And that little piece that stuck out went through uh, the tabs on either side right here and then a nut just tightened on the inside. And these seats also have tabs very similar to those on the front of it, right there and right there. They just don't have the uh, stud going right through there. So I just need to use a nut and bolt. And I actually measured, these are 14 inches apart and those ones are also 14 inches apart. So these tabs on the front are gonna line up perfect with the existing mounts that we already have. But on the back, I am going to have to fab something up because on these seats, they had like this little string that you would pull on. It's all rusty and stuff down here, but you'd pull on this little cord right here and it would pull these pins in and that allowed you to uh, unlatch the seat to fold them up to get underneath them. And those little pins latched into these holes right here, one there and one there. So that's how the back would lock in. But on the other seats, they do not have that. They just have a normal tab, just like the front. So I'm probably just gonna have to weld another tab back here to uh, get that all mounted up and then it had these tabs right here and I have no idea what these went to maybe it was a different seat uh, back in the day and they switched it to this design so I don't know but I'm probably gonna cut that one off and uh, weld a new tab on the back but for at least right now the fronts will mount up so I can get those in there and see how they look in the razzle dazzle and while I've been doing that Emilio has been tearing Hondru apart over here so Emilio is working on getting the head off right now and if you look at number two if you look down in the number two hole you can see that valve is not very happy it got smashed up in there so the head of it didn't break off at least not on the exhaust side that one next to it is bent all the other ones look all right but we'll see how bad the damage is once the head comes off Let's see how bad the damage is the piston's gone oh she's tore up oh yeah Hey, the sleeve honestly doesn't look that bad. Oh, number four, two. Four Dude, four wait. Up. Holy four crap. Four. All of them are Brent's up. making noises like that's not good. No, that's not good. Look at the head. Holy crap. Dude, the valve jumped in there. It was the intake no. side, not the exhaust. The other one's gone. The other's got to be in the turbo. The intake valve is the like intake a... valve's in the turbo, for sure. Did you spin her your turbo? But look at all the pistons. It kind of got all of them. That's worst case scenario. Or is it in the intake? Dun 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 dun. Now the head's dun, dun dun dun. Remember? Yeah. This reminds me of the old turbo when it died. Oh yeah. I'd rather it this be is a, a turbo than a freaking head. No, well, I the know. whole motor really. The sleeves don't look too bad, Thank considering gosh. how bad that was. Well, you got like the block the might just be able to be. Yeah, turn the piston down. Look for dingers. That dude, the top edge of that piston, like. Eh, it's pretty rough. Yeah. Dude, that that piston is beat Yeah, up. like the way it's sitting, you're like... Oh, I guess it is all the way look down. At, look at this one. It, well, it, that, that, in, that yeah, it, it'll it, float. It blew up and it sucks stuff up into Yeah, it this needs backboard. board. Well, yeah, because it went through the intake, so it just went yeah, through it, all of it. Yeah, it flo floats around. It could be in the turbo or the intake, yeah. It's not in the turbo. 
it's not. It's yeah. probably in the damn intake manifold. Look in the exhaust it. housing already? We shook it. Oh. Nothing's in the manifold? That's wedged. It spins, the turbo spins perfect too. Damn. That, that was a bad one. If it wedged, hopefully it wedged in right before it Did got it mess the, the wall? Not horrible. I think you could just, I think you could just bore that over and it'd be fine. Yeah, I just bore it. There's a there's a nick right here that I can feel, oh, right but here. where'd the head of the valve go? It's just gone. Well, it's in the intake. intake or the it's probably in the intake. Let's pull the intake yeah. next. Pick it up and shake it. I'll shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up and shake it. I'm just scared. Finding it, I just know yeah, it you just, it up you just don't want to look weak on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jeff, pick it up and shake it. Uh, yeah, show us how to shake it. I'll pick it up and shake it. Oh, Jeff's getting in there. Oh. Damn. Yep. Oh. 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 No, that was a spacer deal. No, I heard bits in there. Spacer. Here, hold on. You got to open the throttle, though. Oh, oh yeah. pieces are coming out, right? Yeah, little little bits are coming out of the intake there. Nothing big, though. Look at it's these little, there. little it's bits. There. You can hear it. It is in there. Low miles, I only took it to the track once. Low miles, <laughs> fresh. Oh. Dang, dude. This needs a refresh. I know what I got. Don't go wrong. <laughs> all the pistons have like spatter all over them. The sleeve actually doesn't look that bad. Yeah, yeah that's what we were saying. It looks possibly horrible. It's going to take a look at this minutes. The damage to Hondru was pretty severe. Dang. Yeah, that was like VTEC Vicky's head. Yeah. Dude, that is done. It did not sound that bad when it let go. Holy, look at just all the it didn't material. It not that bad when it let go. I knew it was going to be bad just because of the spark plug. That's yeah. That's why it was so hard to take out. Look at that. Yeah, you're lucky the spark plug even did yeah, come I know. out. I'm surprised it came out. I was going to reuse some of the stuff. I ain't touching none of that. What'd you do? <laughs> Center a little too hard, bud. It wasn't even that hard. Yeah, we weren't even sending it. No, not yet. I was gonna turn it up the next day. You got the seat. That's the some. Seat. The seat broke too. Yeah. It's still down there. There's pieces down there. Oh, is that not it down there? Yeah, there's a. Mm -hmm. See all those big chunks back there? There's like pieces of the head back there. It's all aluminum, so the magnet won't yeah, get, that. Gonna get that. I'll take it apart. Well, that definitely sucks, but it's pretty bad. If you can see, like, the head fell off, and then it was just poking at the piston. Yeah, that see, head like, of the intake valve was just, yeah, was just beating like, that, beating it, to crap. beating it up, and then the bottom of the head is just completely annihilated. So we could probably save this block, but we have a couple extras. Yeah. And uh, the boys at CSS are really good at working with us, so we'll probably have them. Uh, CSS a new block for us and then we just really need a new set of pistons and then figure out a uh, cylinder head and we'll be back up and going again. Yeah, the rods are most likely fine, but uh, Shane sent me another set of stronger rods. Which, I mean, these are pretty strong already, but we'll show them when we put it together. So we're good. We just need a set of pistons, another CSS block. And, and then this time, it. yeah, we're just going to try to throw together a stock head ourselves and yeah, just we'll see how that goes. Not pointing any fingers, but then we can do that. And then if the issue happens well, again rather, for somehow, yeah, then we really know it's figure it out on a stock head than yeah, than a really expensive head. So if for some reason the issue happens again on a stock head, then we know it's something we're doing. Yeah. Because I mean, we'll take full blame, whatever it is. We're just trying to get to the bottom of why it's it happening. Is. Yeah, we don't know what it is, so the only way to figure it out is to keep you know keep going at it. Yeah, it's just trial and error. So if we keep putting it together with the same stuff and have the same issue, then we're not learning anything. So. We're gonna try it with some different parts and uh, go from there. But yeah, we'll try to get Hondru back up and going again. Only have that one day of racing yeah. and then it broke. So I think the plan is because by the time I get we get these blocks, like if we send it out, by the time we get it back, it's gonna be it's like the whole point of me getting it together, I wanted to go to Ice Cream Cruise. So I think I'm just gonna put um, a stock motor in it for Ice Cream Cruise just to make 500 and take it out so people can see it and probably enter like the car show or something. I still want to take it out there. We only got 12 days, so by the time, yeah, I don't think we can get this figured out. I know, dude, I'm sad. I was trying to gap you in a minivan, dude. Well, you can now. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll be at a complete Now it won't stop. be fair. Now it won't be fun. No. <laughs> It'll be back though. I just gotta source the parts. That's the main thing. Jamie's new toy. I haven't ran it in like three years. It sounds good. Picked himself up a little banshee. Oh, she's leaking bad. Damn, that thing rips. <laughs> Brakes aren't so hot. Brakes don't work that good? No, not that good. <laughs> that thing moves out. Yeah, it runs out pretty good. Got a good one. Now we gotta get Brent one. He wants his... TRX 450. The TRX 450. So if anybody has a TRX 450, hit Brent up. He needs it. <laughs> 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 so I just got the new seats put in and they look freaking sweet. So one thing I am going to change a little bit is the front tabs do sit a little high. They do have a pretty good lean back to them. I sat in it and it's pretty comfortable like that, but I'm going to cut the tabs down a little shorter and redrill a new hole. So the front comes down just a little bit and then I just got to make a rear tab and we'll be good to go. But I'm trying to get them as sucked down as low as possible. So your helmet's not like sticking out of here at all. But yeah, those are gonna be way better than the seats that were in the Razzle Dazzle. And I just gotta get them permanently mounted another day. I just wanted to kind of rest them in there, see how they looked, but there they are. Finally got ourselves some new seats and then we'll get the new harnesses thrown on there. And then uh, that will be one thing out of the way, but I'm gonna try to get this thing ready for Glamis, which is late October. I have some other things I wanna do to it. I'd like to take it out, uh, just how it is all motor and stuff, but I would like to add a little turb ski or something back here, but I don't know, I'm kind of going back and forth on it. I might leave it how it is for right now just because it does run good. And you know, when we turbo stuff, it complicates things, but you know, we're the boosted boys and I think it'd be sick to have a little single turbo making a couple pounds of boost just for the two step and noises alone. And then, you know, give it a little extra power. But I think this thing will do wheelies, no issue at all out at the dunes with the paddle tire. I mean, the front end is super light, but yeah, getting the razzle dazzle up and going. She still needs some things, but she's getting closer. <laughs> 